Hey, welcome to my new place. I'm finally moved in. I am almost done packing, but not real. I'm done packing enough to where I can make videos now. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, do you shave? This is why I'm asking, because I realized that no one knows how to use an epilator. None of my friends know how to use one. Have you even heard of one? I know a lot of you have heard of one. Have you actually used it? This guy. If you've heard of one before, if you use one, great, then you are going to feel me on this video. But if you have never used one, I'm going to blow your mind, okay? Step one, find your epilator. It's like an electric razor, but instead of cutting the hairs, it pulls them out of your skin simultaneously, kind of like a bunch of little tweezers all at once. It's actually really sweet, uh, kind of painful. It's like an electric waxer without ripping the skin with it. I got mine in the store, but you can find them online. They range from like 20 to, I don't know, 200 bucks, depending on where you find it. Step two, charge it or insert batteries. Mine takes batteries, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, make sure it works and we're golden. All right, step three, prepare for the pain. Uh, you might wanna shower first, this way your pores are opened up and it doesn't hurt as bad. I don't do that because I have a high tolerance to pain, but if you don't, then you might wanna shower first. Also, you might wanna do it at night because if your skin turns really red afterwards, like sometimes it does, when you wake up, it won't be red anymore, usually. Also, you might wanna take a towel and wipe off any wetness or anything like that that you have left over on your legs if you did shower or if you have any lotion on your legs, you don't want it. Making the hairs slippery because you want the, it to be able to grasp onto the hairs so they can pull them out. Same thing goes with your armpits. Find a hairy place. I know you all have them. I purposely did not shave my legs for this video. Ah, it's scary. <laughs> okay, I wanted you guys to see how it works. I couldn't shave. Okay, so it has speeds, usually like a low speed and a high speed. They have the low speed because sometimes people like it better to keep it, I got attacked by a rooster right there when I was little. Um, sometimes people like to keep it at a low speed when they're dealing with coarse hair, like leg hair. Because sometimes when the speed is too high, it, it moves so fast that it's just like breaking the hair off instead of pulling it out, which is what we want. So I mean you can try both ways, it might work on high speed for you. What you want to do is you want to pull the skin with one hand as you softly glide against the grain with your epilator in the other hand. And it is pretty painful, so sometimes I tend to go faster than other times, but you should try to go as slow as you possibly can so it's getting all of the hairs. And you see how it's starting to kind of turn red like that? That's why it's better to do it at night because you don't really know how long it's going to stay red, but it usually goes away within like a half an hour. And I've been using this for a few months now and I really think that it's actually worth the money because your hair kind of, well my hair doesn't grow back for like another you know week and a half to two weeks. So it's actually kind of worth the investment. I only paid $40 and you think how much do you actually spend on like you know razor replacements and stuff like that. It gets really expensive. And with your underarms, the cool thing is it, your underarms look so much sexier with an epilator because it's pulling the hairs out of the skin instead of just cutting it on the surface which kind of leaves that dark shadowy you know five o'clock shadow look on your underarms it ain't attractive so when you pull it all the way out of the root it makes your armpits look lighter and like i said sexier now when you finish try to use a really good lotion you know like something that's not you know all fragrant and even though the one i'm using smells so good but try to use something that you know isn't gonna irritate your newly opened pores and look at the before and after the one on the left is the one that I epilated, and is that a word? And the one on the right is stubby, and this one's not stubby, stubbly. And then it just stays like this. You don't even have to shave for like the next week. It's freaking awesome. Um, same thing goes with your arms. You can, you know, do your arms, your fingers, or other places. <laughs> and don't forget to exfoliate before and after because you do not want ingrown hairs and sometimes when you epilate for the first time you tend to get ingrown hairs but not me. I'm going to exfoliate and have silky smooth skin and that's how to use an epilator guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Epilate me girl. This is Brittany's first time. She's on you guys to see my hair. First. Okay we'll do close up on your arm hair later. This is the close up on Brittany's arm hair on everything I love. She has never, uh, even, you, right? You didn't even feel this yet, right? Ever. I've only shaved. She's only shaved. She's never used an epilator by her arms. And I've told her, I told her to not use it because I specifically want you guys to see it for the first time.
Now put your arm out. You got gorilla arms. Okay. I gotta pull this off. No pain, no gain. Give me your hand, mother. Okay, okay, okay. Let me do it. You literally have like no hair in your arms anymore. You're on that gorilla level. The pain hurts so bad that it's not, it doesn't hurt anymore, it's magic. <laughs> right now we're just ripping the hair up for skin. Ooh. <laughs> so it's like a little more painful. Look how red my arm is. This is the normal color. It's only red for a little bit, then it goes away. Oh. Huh? Like nope. Your arm's done. <laughs> now the good thing is, the first time is the worst time. Now let's compare it before and after. So, <laughs> maybe it's a little red. <laughs> Don't cry.